Did you know that there's a handy trick you can use to save time and decrease stress on quantitative comparison questions on the GRE? Stay tuned for more. Hi, I'm Rich Swelling of Target Test Prep, and I'm here to tell you about a little trick you can use to potentially save a lot of time and also decrease your stress levels on the GRE quantitative comparisons. So I think that what people forget is that answer choice D, which corresponds to can't tell, right? I don't know which quantity is bigger. I don't know if they're equal. Answer choice D is a perfectly valid answer. And I think what it's good to do is to get yourself in the psychological mind frame that when you go into a question, keep in mind that D could be the correct answer. Now I know that sometimes answer choice D will obviously not be the correct answer. But the point is by going into the question, keeping answer choice D in mind, you're more apt to see when it could go one direction or another. So is quantity A bigger? Is quantity B bigger? Are they the same? Can't really tell, right? If you go into the question thinking that answer choice D might be the correct answer, you're more likely to find when it could go one direction or another, and you're more likely to do it a heck of a lot quicker. And of course, that cuts down not just on time, but it cuts down on stress levels and banks you some more time for the later questions. So don't be afraid of answer choice D. It's a perfectly valid response. And if you can quickly figure out that it could go in one direction or another, you're golden. Happy studying.